Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the second episode of the second season of Zombieland Saga. Zombieland Saga Revenge. Uh, so, last episode we got back into it. Uh, Kotaro was a little bit, you know, depressed, not exactly helpful. But in the end of the episode, he did come and help out at our performance. That was, had a bit of a rockiness to it. But, yeah, I mean, it was, it, was pretty, it was pretty fun overall, I would say. So, yeah, let's jump into this episode and see what's up. Three, two, one, play. New long hair. <laughs> Man, she's really emphasizing that hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with you. What are we doing? Saki, what, what are you... Uh, what are you doing, Ty? I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> yeah, good question. <laughs> and where do I sign up, sign up for the, to be a part of that? I, yeah, it's a good question. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. It's just quite the sight seeing zombies exercising. <laughs> oh, oh, opening. Oh, we have an opening here. <laughs> Starting from zero. Oh, that was a good, cool-looking shot of Sakura. Oh, wow. <laughs> look, look on her face. On, uh, the dad, dad's face. I forgot her name. <laughs> I don't like the hands separating. That's That seems like bad, bad... Like foreshadowing bad stuff. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> And I almost got crushed by the tomate. I think that's what that spells all together. Yeah, this is definitely a zombie land saga opening. <laughs> saga. Yeah, that is saga. Right. Why are you on TV? <laughs> <laughs> Eat this microphone. <laughs> Man, the forehead. <laughs> oh, now the nose. Eventually, it's going to end up in someone's mouth. Probably ties. <laughs> I mean, that would that'd be fun. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Finally, somebody gave it back to him. Also, good point. <laughs> you should be like they don't just eat your brain. 
TV reporters. Okay. That could be fun. <laughs> Time. The white Ryu. Who? Yeah, he looks like a Ryu, all right, with that hair and everything. Jesus Christ, that hair. <laughs> it looks like he should be in Space Dandy or something. <laughs> yeah, I did. My first time hearing it, too. Tomorrow? <laughs> right now, let's go. No time like my time no time like the present. <laughs> Is that real? Oh my god, wow oh, wow. Okay. The man knows how to make an entrance. Jesus. I kind of can't believe we just did that. I mean, I think you should flip that back now. I think you can't, you can't see like that. I guess he doesn't need to. <laughs> I guess that settles it then. Do a nice job, Onigashimas. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> yes. What's the cue card say? Do you and I say we end up going around? Text was a lot smaller that time. Hey, wooden swords, the best souvenir. What what are you what 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 are you doing? That's not what that's not what she meant. That's not what she meant. <laughs> not what she meant. Okay. <laughs> They're just like you girls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I guess we got them. <laughs> Have a nice chat about the marriage god. <laughs> wow, she took that a different way. <laughs> I'm sure that's fine. Time for a nice wrap up. Make it really hard to read. <laughs> sure. <laughs> A glitz. <laughs> the inner the inner temple. <laughs> we'll do it anyway. <laughs> 
We're free. Don't you get that? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Good thing we're dead. <laughs> this was your idea. Why are you... Why are you dying? <laughs> oh, the definitely worth the view, though. Somebody dropped their wooden sword. Are you reaching for the heavens? <laughs> this guy really is quite something. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> she has to go ask her if she wants to die. <laughs> it's important. <clears throat> mm, well said. <laughs> I haven't commented on it yet, but I love what Saki's wearing. I need to mention that at least once. <laughs> it was a fine wind. Oh? That is, that is true. <laughs> just can't believe he lets his hair dangle like that. <laughs> he just seriously just rides around like that. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, it's pretty much what I expected. <laughs> Zombies have hearts too. Yeah, that's a more relevant thing. <laughs> I never knew. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, I think I may know who he's referring to. Uh, <laughs> man, that must have been a long time ago. <laughs> Saki the badass. Just enjoying his fishing. <laughs> and there it is. The inspirational voice. Try to stay awake, man. Oh, 
Hey, that's mine. <laughs> you really said that. Oh. Whoa. That actually kind of gave me chills. Hey, let's jump in there. Yeah, that's how she met Reiko. Funny how things start work out, turn out. <laughs> oh, God, the bike. <laughs> Maybe we could slow down a little bit. Because uh, that probably counts as speeding. <laughs> hey, officer, you stopped the vehicle. Yeah, there was even, like, a wind current thing around it. Yeah, how fast was she going? I wish we would have clocked that. Yeah, we've arrived. <laughs> That's what's left of the bike. Rip. <laughs> Here, you can have that. Think of it as a gift. Yep, that's that's them. They've come for a visit. <laughs> this guy. I vaguely remember him from season one. Very surprising guests. <laughs> the rest of friends Shushu could make it. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. What what was that decided? Uh <laughs> I mean, yeah, idols sometimes have, like, radio show things. <laughs> Leader of all of Saga. That's a big, that's a big claim. But I think she can do it. I mean. <laughs> oh my god, you just soaked that poor man. Yeah, I think it just decided now. <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess it's ours now. It's gonna be free. Enjoy that wind. <laughs> Back before he was limp. <laughs> uh, keep try to keep those in, Sakura. Good thing he's not looking this way. <laughs> I don't think she's going to get any older. <laughs> he just drove right towards the camera. Flops in the wind. So yeah, radio show get. I guess. Sure.
Yeah, that's what you're gonna look like forever, pretty much. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, Saki. I give her a hug, maybe. I mean, at the end of the day, being a zombie has its pros and cons. But boy, does it hurt to see Saki cry. More than I thought it would. <laughs> Sakura crying is not surprising. Because <laughs> you're crying and it's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> you're at this rate, guys, gonna fall out again. There's everyone else. Mummy Land Saga. Episode's about over. There's, there's not really enough time for a performance, is there? I mean, maybe. Also, great outfits that they're wearing right now. <laughs> Do you hate windy days? Let's go. <laughs> Gotta love a sake focus performance. <laughs> They're in the audience, as expected. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Yeah, really nice animation. <laughs> Ty is doing her best. <laughs> Man, they're just all in there. That is so dangerous. Also, probably illegal. But I guess that's where the wind's taking him. And that performance went pretty well. Also, can I move this saga? The show's really selling, selling me on the, on the place. Why does she have an onion on her head? <laughs> Good thing she's a zombie. So... Okay, well that... <laughs> that was the second episode of Zombieland Saga Revenge. Uh, yeah, and this was a bit of a Saki focus episode, which I appreciate, because I, I do quite like, so like Saki, right? And yeah, this episode, since we actually had... Kotaro kind of out of his uh, funk that he was in last episode. We kind of got to be early on with his usual shenanigans with the board and stuff. He even had, like, I think a TV over his head or something. Kind of asking the girls, you know, what, what their thoughts on what to do next, essentially. And we ended up doing some kind of uh, shrine tour thingy with some celebrity, Ryu, who I don't think has been mentioned in the show up until now. But Saki seems to be a big fan. Although Saki seems to be a fan of almost anything that they end up kind of I'm not cooperating. What's the word I'm looking for? Collaborating with, right? Like the one chicken restaurant thingy, right? Like things like that. She seems to be pretty gung-ho for a lot of this stuff, which I always enjoy seeing because seeing Saki enthusiastic and excited, it's it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy seeing that. So it was cool to see her kind of like meet her idol, essentially. 
in this episode. Obviously, he's not quite what he used to be. His uh, hair that used to be so... They used to stand firm and tall now. It just kind of... F- it's all floppy and just kind of wiggles around in the wind and all that. Like, it's it covers his eyes. You, you, you can tell he's kind of not... It's kind of not quite what he used to be, right? Uh, Basaki was a big fan back in the day, but since she's a zombie, she's quite a bit older than she looks. So, yeah, a lot of time has passed since she initially was inspired by him, right? So... All the same, she definitely did appreciate getting to spend time with him in this, in the segments, right? And, uh, I still just can't believe he rides the car like that. I just thought, I could, maybe, maybe you should stop doing that. But, yeah, I mean, we had the kind of reporters, camera crew and stuff kind of following us around, just trying to get the good footage and all that. And, uh, uh, one fun moment here was when she was, uh, when, uh, Sakura asked Junko to go with the the god of marriage area with her and, and you know she blushes a lot because she took that in a did you know sakura wants to marry me kind of way right so even though she just did it because she was kind of suggested to that was that was quite funny like that's not one that's not one of the ships in the show really i don't think but it was cute nonetheless and uh, I, did, I did i enjoyed the girl with the cute cards i, I like that running gag like i think almost every time it said e kanji on it or at least most of the time Right, that was kind of a running joke. So, yeah, that was that was great. And we also enjoyed the inner inner shrine, even though it kind of almost killed Ryu just to get there. Luckily, as zombie as zombie girls, just salmon's not really an issue, especially because they do work out now. Apparently, we established that that's a thing we do, even though we're dead. Muscle training still comes in handy, I guess, is what we decided. So, that's what we do. Saki just whips her hair at everyone. That was that was great. So. And that was that. That was essentially the first half of the episode. The second half was, yeah, definitely like doubled down the focus on Saki. We actually got some nice flashbacks of her back in middle school, beating people up and all that, which is a lot of fun. And the, the moment when she first heard Ryu on the radio when it spoke to her the way it did, this she just kind of borrowed some sleepy, drunk fishing fisherman's radio for it. And we even got to see her meet up with Reiko, which is great as well. So and the bike ride, we had a bike ride over to the station, and that bike. It wasn't a bike anymore by the time we got there, right? It was the handlebar, which we kind of gave away. So that bike was sacrificed for the greater good in the end. So, yeah, and we essentially went there to convince him not to not to quit the not to quit the thing. But in the end, he, we just kind of inherited it, like it's it's ours now. So that's cool. Give us a bit give us a bit more speaking power to the people. It's certainly cool to have it, especially for Saki because she was obviously very passionate passionate about the about it so she's kind of the perfect one to kind of inherit that role so it's cool to see yes my thoughts on ryu like i'm not really sure what my thoughts on ryu are like saki kept referring to how cool he was and stuff but i just not quite how i took it like i don't dislike him but he's he's just kind of silly right i wouldn't go as far as to call him lame or anything like that but i also wouldn't call him cool he's just a interesting sort of unique fella that i kind of enjoyed his presence in the episode i think that's the best way i can describe him right but he's very eccentric and just yeah he's he's something all right then just kind of left into the sunset right and then we had a scene of Saki crying which was very hard to watch Saki's obviously you know one of the toughest kind of characters in the show so seeing that hurts all all the more like sakura crying it's of course sakura cries that's just a thing sakura would do but saki saki not so much so that that's done but we got to see a performance near the end there got the not even sure we call the outfits they wore but I, I they were great and it was very saki oriented kind of performance there she was even the one up front and stuff so yeah that was that was that was great to watch especially like the animation on the arm movements and stuff and I always enjoy Ty doing her best in these performances. So. And that's, yeah, pretty much the extent of my thoughts on the episode, I would say. It's just really good to have the, the show back, right? Since the first episode had Kotaro in, his, in the mental state that he was in, it didn't quite feel fully Zombieland Saga, but now that we're kind of past that, it really does. So it's cool. It's great to have. So, <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> time to wait for the next episode. Until then. Bye bye. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. 
If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.